Hey everybody, welcome back to Big Daddy's Barbecue Pit. This week, we're going to do a cross rib roast on the Weber using our rotisserie accessory. Stick around! Okay, so for our cross rib roast, you can see this is just a, a nice little roast. It's already been trussed and everything right from the butcher shop that I go to. We're going to keep it real simple. We're going to use a little bit of Worcestershire sauce as a binder. Just going to put some of that on, rub it, get it good and coated. Same on the other side. Just rub it in real good. We got two rubs we're using today. First one is Killer Hogs AP. Pretty good sized piece of meat, so we want to make sure you get it good and covered. And then the other rub we're using is uh, Steak Princess Beauty and the Beef. Okay, so we, we have B&B uh, &B competition briquettes in here today. Uh, we lit it with a, just a chimney starter. We're gonna go ahead and dump it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep all of the heat on one side of this rotisserie so it's not getting heat from both sides. I'm gonna keep it all, all off to one side like that. We're gonna go back in the house and we're gonna get our roast beef put on the spit. We're going to bring it back out and set this all up and get this rolling. It's probably only going to take about an hour, hour and a half, maybe 45 minutes. See you then. Okay, so we got our, the meat seasoned. We got the grill up the temp. And now we're going to go ahead and put this meat on the spit. We're going to try to shoot the dead center on this. And run it right through like so. You want to bring it all the way down on these forks. Put that there, and we're going to take our other fork. We're going to run this one in. Tighten these guys up. And today for this cook, we're going to go ahead and use our meter probe. And I'm just going to insert this in on an angle so I don't hit that rod right there to the line. This meter will come in handy with, with you know no cords or anything. This thing will be able to spin freely and we'll be able to monitor the inside temp of the meat and the pit. We're gonna take this outside now and get it on the grill. Okay, we got our Weber running it about. It's actually running at about 400, which is perfect. We're going to go ahead and adjust this bushing here so it fits down in. So this thing will spin freely. Go ahead and plug this in. Turn her on. So we're going to come back and probably about an hour and check this guy see how it's doing i think it's going to be pretty tasty okay we're about 30 minutes into this Ooh, doggy that thing is looking good get the nice crust on it Again, we're only about a half an hour in. We figured it'd probably be about an hour or so for this to get done. We're gonna check it again, probably in about 15 minutes or so. See where it's running. This sure looks pretty. We're running about 114 now internal on it. So it's not going to be much longer. Let's 
sure does. We're going to probe it one last time. It's nice and tender. We're hitting about 142. We're going to go ahead and yank this thing off. Let it rest. Take it inside. <laughs> Yummy. Okay, everybody. So we got our uh, roast pulled off of the spit. We're just going to go ahead and loosen this up. Pull these tines off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach right in here and just pull this roast off carefully. <laughs> and then I have some uh, foil here. We're just going to wrap this up and we're going to let it rest. You can see some of the juice is already starting to come out of it. We'll probably give it, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes to rest. And then we're going to cut this open and give it a try and let you know what we think. Okay, everyone, we're going to go ahead and slice this up. You can see we reserved some of the au jus. So we're just going to cut down through this bad boy. It's nice and tender. Cut some slices here. Got her done nice, nice and juicy. Mm. Nice and tender, that bark on the outside. It's excellent. Mm. Right amount of salt, pepper. Picking up the beef flavors from uh, the Steak Prince's rub. Make sure you give this recipe a, a try. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thanks for watching our videos. Get you some. Get you some.